Take two. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. I think it was that flower app that I had on. It froze my video. So, no flower. Nope. No flower. Take two, y'all. Thank you for hopping back on. If you're watching the replay, thank you for coming on. I wanted to talk to y'all today about Naughty and Nice List. And if you're just hopping on, I would love for you to comment with a one if you have ever been on the Naughty List. Comment with a two if you have been on the Nice List. One for Naughty, two for Nice. And what I mean by the list is, did you ever receive a gift that meant you were naughty? Did you deserve that package of socks? <laughs> Hi, Adrian. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. We're going to go over this naughty and nice, y'all. I have something to share with y'all, too. Yes, I do. This is a gift that I do not want to receive. And tell me if I'm wrong, ladies, Lady, especially the ladies of the fluffy nature, because let, let me tell you something. I got some fluff now. I got some back, and that back ain't going nowhere, if you know, know my meaning, okay? Yeah, I've always had, I call it the sister booty. I've always had that. Now, let's just say you've been great all year, and... You're taking care of business, you know, you're not complaining, you're cooking all the time, cleaning all the time, working your butt off. Not to say that my husband's a bad person, because he's not. He's a wonderful person. But is this really a gift for me, or is this really a gift for the dudes? Yeah, Mrs. Claus, for some reason, thinking that Mrs. Claus wants to wear a thong on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or whatever. And that dental floss covers me better than this, okay? <laughs> and then to have to figure out how, how, this is one, yeah, this is one, one right here. Okay, there's one. All right. Here's the other one. Here's the other one. Where's the string? Where's the string to hold? Where? Where? <laughs> where is? Where is this to hold? Do you see what I mean? What? Is, what is this flapping for? For presentation. This fellow gentleman. Okay. Do not. Do not pick out lingerie for your wife. Just going to put it out there, okay? And this is why. It's saying that the gift is for you. Because who is going to unwrap that? Who? Do you think she wears this for comfort? Do you think she wants to put that on? For comfort? <laughs> Why bother? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Get your wife something that will last, that will fit, that means something to her. Find out what she loves. Really, guys, come on. Get to know her. <clears throat> Scoot up. Adrian, you're my fluffy expert. <laughs> throw that at someone. No kidding. I would throw this at someone. I mean, really, come on. Let me say something. Let me see something. Maybe I can use it as a hat. There. Let's just put it on as a hat, y'all. This is my Mrs. Claus. Yep, let me move my hair out of the way. Yeah, this is what it's meant for. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Much better. Yeah, I'm Mrs. Claus now. That's where that belongs. Right on my head. <laughs> Ooh. I don't want a wedgie. If I wanted a wedgie, I would wear thongs all day. I don't like underwear riding up my ass. To be, to be quite honest, 
And I know a lot of women don't. Some people can wear them. That's great. Wear them. Feels good. I don't know. I have no idea. But I don't. Mm -mm. No. I'd rather go commando or wear my womanly grandma panties than to wear a thong. Yeah. So this belongs on my head. So if you've been a naughty person, you need to comment with a one. And if you've been nice, comment with a two. Because, here's the thing. You share this video with your network, your friends. Get your guy friends or whatever, your husband, significant other, boyfriend. I don't judge. Don't matter. Get them to watch this video. Because they need to know what their woman or man wants for Christmas. And I'm telling you right now, it is not. It's not this. It's not. Okay? Let her pick out her lingerie to surprise you with on Valentine's Day or something. Not for Christmas. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, I rolled it up into a ball, y'all. It's that shiny, <laughs> shiny booby ca booby cover or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Hashtag just say no to the wedgie, <laughs> right? Right? Come on. So the naughty and nice, you can be put on that naughty list so fast, and it's not just. You know, couples. It could be friends, too. Um, if you're, like, just irritatingly mean to somebody or, you know, taking advantage of somebody, and you know you are, do you really expect anybody to take you seriously and then personally pick out a thoughtful gift for you? Think about it. This is a really strong message, y'all. If you give to others first, and I'm not saying gifts. I'm saying your time, your presence, your honesty, your integrity, your respectfulness. Return the favor. Someone goes to your wall and gives you a compliment. Go to their wall. Say something nice to them. Just do it. But if you're just a me, myself, and I type person, it's, you're probably going to end up being just me, myself, and I on Christmas. It's the truth. I know the truth hurts. I know it does. But in order to receive, and I don't mean just presents here, okay? I don't mean that because really Christmas isn't all about just getting gifts. In order to receive that joy, that laughter, that kindness, the respect, um, positivity, honesty, you name it. In order to receive those things from other people, you have to give it. You have to be the first to just make that decision and give all that to others. Oh, that's okay, Cynthia. You can watch the replay later. Annabelle. <laughs> Don't get me tearing up. Annabelle's not naughty. She's lying to y'all. She's not naughty at all. <laughs> Annabelle's going over. Yeah, this is a Christmas thong on my head right here. You see that? Yeah, let me just show you. Let me just recap really quick. Okay. I don't want this for Christmas. This right here. Yeah, it stretches really big. Thank goodness, because my ass is big. But I do not want this. No. I'd rather wear it on my damn head. <laughs> I'd rather wear it. On my head, 
and now I'm Mrs. Claus telling y'all the truth, right? And recap again. Um, no, no, I don't want. I don't want flapping titty covers. No, 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 no. Find out what I want. But what I want most is for people to give of themselves. Just, if you're happy, spread the cheer. If you see someone down, build up their spirits. It doesn't have to be a gift. You don't have to wrap a present and hope that it makes them happy. You can start now doing that. Like now, like right now. You can start that right now. Don't be nasty to people. There's people, you know, I had a really long conversation with one of my friends this morning who I love to death. And she was down and out today because somebody took advantage of her. And yes, at a certain point in your life, you've got to be able to pick and choose who you're going to surround yourself with. And you don't know sometimes. You don't know sometimes how people are going to treat you. But when you know how they're going to treat you, it's time to shut that door. Don't be with people that are going to put you down, take advantage of you, um, just just suck the positivity right out of your body. Don't be around people like that. <laughs> Annabelle, uh, I'm going to give you. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell you a secret, Annabelle. You ready? I have never seen that movie. I have not watched it. And I haven't watched the second one. I know there's a second one. I haven't watched it. I know what it's about, but I haven't watched it. <laughs> I'm just glad you're hopping on, Cynthia. I'm here to entertain, be honest, just have fun. It's You know, you only got one life, right? Christmas comes every year, but... All year long, you should be an example to others and build people up when you see them down. I need to read the book? My mother read the book. She's 69 years old. And she read the book. I haven't had the, I haven't, I don't have the book. My daughter has the book. I, get, I bet the book is a lot better than the movie. Books always have more details. <laughs> but I do love to read. All right, I'm going to have to read the book. I know, I know what it's about. Um, <laughs> so, really, Annabelle is a sweetheart. And she makes me laugh every day. She doesn't know, but I stalk her all the time, watching all her stuff. Two days, my goodness, girl. Did you do anything else? <laughs> Which one? Yeah. See, I don't normally go to everybody's pages and make it known that I see everything. Because, yeah, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, Mama J-Lo. <laughs> um, if I were to like and comment on everything... My name would be everywhere. And what's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? I do like a few things. I do like a few things and comment here and there. But believe me, I see everything. See everything. I see it all. Yes, I do. Angela, she's talking about Fifty Shades of Grey. I have not read it. I have not seen the movie. So, I am guess I'm going to have to now. So anyways, naughty and nice. In the beginning, I said if you are naughty, comment one. And if you are nice, comment two. So I know who's naughty and who thinks they're nice. Um, and then share this video. Share this video because men need to know. We don't want... We, we want to pick out this stuff. We want to pick out 
our own. We want to pick it out. We don't want you picking this stuff out for us. No, not this stuff. We want you to go to the jewelry store <laughs> or to a makeup website and get us some stuff that we're going to love. <laughs> I had to look book for one plus year. I never read it. I have, however, seen the movie. I guess we're both going to have to read it, Angela. Okay, Naughty. This is Naughty. And I don't mean in a good way, naughty. I don't mean like you're really, really good with your husband, naughty, or anything like that. What I mean by naughty is, um, are you selfish? Can you own up to being selfish? Are you selfish in your relationship? Do you not help your spouse? And I'm talking to both men and women. Do you not help your spouse? Um... Do you expect more from your spouse or loved one than you give? Are you the type of person that goes to the store last minute and buys a package of socks and wraps it up and thinks that's a gift? That kind of naughty. Do you want reindeer poop under your tree for you? <laughs> Hey, Annabelle, that I can understand. You, you know, you've got a really, really hard job. And if you've got to kick people out of those planes to make everybody else safe, then you do it. That's right. We want to pick. We want to pick. We want to be able to say, listen, dude, this is what I want. If you can't get it for me, then at least save for it so I can go get it myself. Be honest. Be honest. Just tell them what you want. Because men, they have a hard time. They really do. They have a hard time picking out the perfect gift. They just do. This is not the perfect gift. No. It's not. <laughs> All right, sweetie, Annabelle. Have a good day. I will stalk you later. <laughs> I watch you. I do watch all of you. All of you. So, those catching the replay or you need to go back and watch the beginning to see what I have on my head and why women do not want this. No, we don't. We just don't. I'm speaking for all of you because I know. And if you tell me this is what you want for Christmas, you're lying. I'm just going to say it. Who? It's not a gift for you. It's a gift for him. Think about it. Who's taking it off? Who's loving it? Who's watching it? Who's... <laughs> yeah, of course. See, Angela? There is nothing wrong with giving him your wish list and saying, hey, these are the things I love. Pick five out of the 20 that I wrote down. Right? There's nothing wrong with that. What's on my head? Okay, I'm going to show you since there are a few people still watching. Um, <laughs> I showed in the beginning, but all right. Look, you see how wide those stretch? What's that saying? What's that? I don't want this. No. This is not a personal Christmas gift. Okay? Me dressing up as a hoe. A Santa... Uh, uh, Mrs. Claus hoe for Christmas is, not my, Christ is my, not my way of celebrating Christmas. So now I'm just wearing it on my head. It's a hat. That's what it is. It's a Christmas hat. It's a Christmas kind of hat, y'all. <laughs> That's what it is. And yeah, this goes with it. What? Hello? Hello? No! If you want this for Christmas, I'll mail it to you. I never used it. I never wore it. 
well, it's on my head, but you want this? Comment three. First person to comment three, I'll message you for your address. You can have it. <laughs> want to know. So, the naughty or nice list. You get this for your girlfriend or your wife. Or your boyfriend, for that matter. <laughs> You're going to be on the naughty list. Forever. You're going to be on the naughty list. If you think your girlfriend or wife or boyfriend wants a thong for Christmas. Yes, you are. You are going to be on the naughty list. Quick. In a flash. Like Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. All the reindeer. In a flash. Naughty list. Yes, you are. To speak in the truth, y'all. Gotta share this video. Because men need to know. Men need to know this. Ask your wife, your boyfriend, significant other, girlfriend. Ask her, him, whatever. For a wish list. Just do it. Say, honey, babe, sugar plum, cupcake, whatever you call them. What do you want for Christmas? Can you please write down 10 things that you absolutely want for Christmas? And then I will pick a few things out of that list. That way you know. She won't know what you're picking. Or he won't know what you're picking. But at least you have a good idea about what they want. And then my other message really quick was to, you know, give out what you want to receive. You know, don't expect to hand someone a wish list and then you go out and buy a package of socks for them. What's that? Really? Thank you for the lovely diamond ring. Mwah! Here's your socks. Don't do that. Don't do that. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't do that. Here's your brand new collection of awesome makeup. Oh, I just love you. Thank you so much. It was on my list. Here's your socks. No. <laughs> Find out what he wants. Do the same thing for him. Y'all, it goes both ways. It does. It really goes both ways. I know that a lot of men like those new power drills and things they can get from like off Home Depot and, you know, manly things. Maybe it's a brand new record he's been wanting or, you know, uh, something. You know, men like power tools and, but they want to, they, they're very specific though. Don't buy this, this 10 way hammer gadget thing when he really wants something else. Get his list. Get his list. That's it. Just get the list. Get those lists going. And if you don't have the money for Christmas, make something. A homemade gift is like no other gift you could ever, ever buy. Especially if it lasts forever. Not of cookies or anything like that. I'm saying something you can actually make. So... If you missed the beginning of this, please watch the whole thing. Go back. Whoop. When I end the live video, go back and watch. Find out what I have on my head and why it's on there. Oh, why it's on there. And just be kind to people. Think, you know, put yourself in someone else's shoes. Um, spread some cheer and love and joy and happiness and um, just do how you know do unto others as you would want them to do unto you that's it all right ladies I'm gonna head out I'm done with my naughty and nice and I will talk to you all later have a great Tuesday bye